we cater for quite a range of writers. In particular, I understand that some people like to write but not publish, and so we have the three weekly classes for that. Uh, but there are some people who really want to. It's been their dream for many, many years. That's why we set up the publishing business as part of Sydney School of Arts and Humanities, to give people an opportunity to hone their work, get feedback, improve their work, so that it reaches publication standard. Uh, we offer editing services, and then, you know, presto, there's the book. And uh, there's nothing like it uh, just to see someone who's had a dream for many years. And there they have their first book, and they can go on to more. We've published about mm, maybe a dozen books. We've got a couple uh, in the works at, uh, at the moment. We started with uh, memoir. The first was uh, Burma, My Mother, and uh, that was written by a woman who had to escape Burma. Uh, her husband was jailed for five years and his father was assassinated with a general unsung. So that's a sad story and yet she's a beautiful woman and uh, it's a beautiful story. According to, to her daughter, my, my aunt. Then the next book is uh, Road to Rishikonda and that was written by a woman who's now an Australian but was born and raised in uh, South India. It's a series of stories about her time at that school. This was a special one too, a very early book that we published, Angela's Anorexia, the story of my mother, written by Damien Cooper. It's about how when he was a boy, his mother had anorexia and about their loving relationship but the difficulties of such a thing. So that's a very serious book and has a very serious purpose to try to have people understand that condition better. We've got a novelist here, Ferdinando Manzo, who has also published a couple of poetry books, so that's a terrific range in, in writing genres. He's published Night Road to Life, or we've published for him, and Strada di Notto per la Vita. They're, they're poems that, uh, he's been here a few years, that are based around uh, life in Australia. Never stop it. Other fiction, uh, first novel, Reported Missing by Diane Harding. And uh, that's got a, uh, a serious purpose. It's, it's quite intriguing, but uh, it's set in Sydney. But it also uh, looks at the question of domestic violence and what a woman has to suffer after she might leave the home with her children and, uh, and be on the run, as it were. We've also published a book of short stories by Lawrence Goodstone. And I might just read uh, from the back cover here. Uh, this collection of short stories will appeal to readers who are attracted to snapshots of the human condition. While set in Australia, the stories reflect universal themes and range over a number of genres, from crime to science fiction, from human weakness to human strength. Well, we've got a base membership of uh, 3,000 members of some meetups, in particular Sydney Writers' Circle. And uh, we hold weekly meetups, or in fact three a week, and um, so we have a variety of people coming. Some are solid and stay and work on a project for quite a long time. Others just come once or twice, get a bit of feedback and then continue at home with their work. So it's a nice mix of having people give feedback in a group and other people choosing to have a little bit of that but really working on their own at home and then coming to us later to publish their work. And a friend at a coffee shop and Olivier apologised that the rest of the family were busy on that. I was known as a teacher by one of my aunts. I heard about the Polish. Devoid of decoration, its green and grey walls were buckled, with flecking plaster. That, and that we had to refer to our yeah. elders. Skinny and, and strong. And yes. Quiet, uh, there was no death in it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a range of services here. Uh, we do mentoring for people who are suffering a bit at home, working alone. It's, it's difficult to work at home alone with no one to share the experience. So you can get stuck as a writer and um, so we've got a couple of coaches, mentors, who work with individual writers. We've got editing services and uh, we draw on several editors uh, for the work and the rates are very reasonable compared with others uh, in Sydney. What else do we do? We have performances of uh, our writers reading from their work and uh, we hold them at the front of our building which has been beautifully landscaped and uh, get a crowd there and it's very confidence boosting for the writers to be able to read their work to an audience. Hang on, I thought ruefully. I could be damaging parts of my body. We're easy to find. 
uh, just go to the rocks and then up the hill through the Argyle Cut and uh, there on your left is our building along with the Harry Jensen building as uh, is uh, tucked behind the Abraham Mott Hall and as I said it's a very beautiful setting. Thank you.